My name is Chamidu Munasinghe. I currently work as the CTO of SM Tech Private Limited. So I got into this technology field when I was very young. So when I was very little, I had this uh, Sinclair Isodex Spectrum computer at home. So which only has 4KB of RAM if I'm not mistaken. So I used to learn programming on that. And then uh, I uh, got into, you know, uh, programming after that time, it was kind of like a passion for me. Uh, and also my father is an electronics engineer. So uh, I think uh, I was kind of like inspired by him a lot as well. You know, like I helped in his, his projects and uh, I learned a lot from him. So I think that's how I started. So I don't think really there's a secret per se because you know like to you have to know what you do doing right so whether you get education formally or informally yeah, I mean if you have the education for your job I think you can uh, you can I think uh, basically with experience you can uh, uh, become uh, you can be become become you know climb the career ladder so to speak. Yeah, I mean, self-learning, I think you have to really love what you do. I think that's uh, the key uh, factor. So if you like what you do, um, then you you can basically, I mean, uh, there's a lot of resources that are out there, right? I mean, when I started, we it was mainly books. There was not, uh, the internet was not, uh, you know, that prevalent. So. Uh, I used a lot to read a lot of books and I used to try things out so by myself. So um, that is how I learned. Actually, I applied for this company called Senit Software. So uh, although I mean I was a dropout from NIBM, so uh, I did not complete the, the my higher studies. But then I was looking looking for a job and then. Uh, I went to the interview and I was hired. So from there, uh, I was hired as a junior developer. From there, I think uh, it's the interest in my job that kept me, you know, uh, wanting to learn more and, uh, you know, uh, basically to kind of like climb up in my career. Yeah, so that's a good question. So, I mean, there's a saying that uh, staying up to date in um, the information technology or the computer science uh, field is like trying to drink from a fire hose. So there's a, you know, uh, information technology is a very young industry. Right? So there's a lot of things that are happening. It's easier to kind of get lost in, you know, in, in terms of what to learn and what to do. But I think, uh, the key factor is that when you work with a set of tools, let's say maybe be it a programming language or a framework, I think you have to uh, learn it so that not just to use it. So you have to learn how to uh, how that tool itself works. So I mean, uh, especially in this day and age, because when uh, when I learned programming, it was on using Turbo C on a on like 386 i3 like 386 processors and with DOS 8 right so those days it's very easy to kind of like understand once you you know write a program and compile it from running the program to what happens in the chip uh, level it's kind of like relatively easy because it's close to the bare metal but these days we are working with a lot of abstractions like these days we use frameworks like Spring Boot or Node.js now it's kind kind of like forget what goes on inside because we are working at a very that level of abstraction but it's you uh, an engineer always should be able to go down a couple of abstraction levels and understand uh, you know how the you know the internals of your tools are working so that way I think you can 
uh, get get a good knowledge and also uh, you should kind of like uh, also diversify yourself not get I mean uh, in the early stages of your career it's okay to specialize you know with one language one framework but as you progress it's always good to gain uh, you, your knowledge to be in a wider spectrum of tools and technologies. Okay, so I think uh, there, there are like multiple factors. One thing is, I think you should be able to, when you become a leader, you should be able to communicate. So that is one key uh, aspect because, uh, you know, you need to, day in, day out, you need to work with customers to convince them of your technical solution. You know, uh, that is one thing. And also like when, one thing that good, good technologists, like good tech people, uh, have to kind of let go when you go up is that you know we have this mentality because when you, if you are good at something you think that only you can do it you know if I don't do this that's not going to happen so but if you were to you know manage say about um, 50 60 people work with them uh, you need to sometimes let go of that control uh, you know that is one thing I, one thing I think uh, it's important So yeah, so now IT industry is kind of like everybody wants to get into this industry now even because uh, because of the benefits, right? So, but if you just get into, get into this industry with the benefits, for the benefits only, it can be, a, it can be tough to kind of stay up to date and, uh, you know, progress in your career if you don't love what you're doing. And also, uh, I think you should uh, really uh, focus on what you learn, right? Let's say, for example, now I've been doing a lot of interviews lately, right, to hire people. One thing I notice is that a lot of graduates out of universities, they kind of think that uh, they, are, they are learning their coursework, the modules are just to pass the exam and to get the credit, uh, that is the minimum credit required to get their degree. So it's not that. Right? So it's a, you have to be prepared to continuously learn. So you can't, uh, uh, you know, uh, forget what you learn. And you have to be continuously learn, learning, right? So basically, you know, like I might be a dropout of college, but if you don't know your algorithms and data structures, I will not hire you, right? So, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's, the thing. I, that's the thing. I think basically uh, you have to continuously keep on learning. The work I do, I mean, it's it's uh, basically uh, I still write hands on code, right? So it's like maybe twenty percent of my day is spent like code coding, and then maybe working with other teams to kind of like uh, do design reviews and do design sessions, and and of course uh, a lot of my time is spent doing pre-sales, right? so I went to onboard customers um, and working with customers to make sure that, you know, uh, participating in their uh, status updates and things like that. So that's kind of like what my day looks like. Yeah, I mean, again, like uh, what you have to do is uh, you have to think about you know, if you are doing your higher studies in computer science, uh, now when you graduate, right, so if, if there's like 100 people in the batch, you know, the, the, the all, all 100 people will be getting awarded that, awarded that degree, right? So how do you set yourself apart, right? So, uh, you know, it's very easy to set yourself apart these days because uh, there's a lot of resources in the internet, right? So there's like free courses available, you can do them. And there is like programming competitions, you know, things like HackerRank, where you can practice your data structures and algorithm skills. And you can open up a big GitHub profile and, you know, uh, do some pet projects. So those things will uh, really uh, catch the eye of the recruiter, if you have that. 